Hi, my name is Beth Summers from the Wilton Test Kitchen, and I'm here to give you the basics about Punch Cut Decorate, a great new decorating system. And you're going to use for Punch Cut Decorate these cool new products called sugar sheets. When you're using sugar sheets, it's really important to always keep them away from air because they will get dry and brittle, and what you want is for them to be really nice and pliable. So only cut off what you're going to use at the time and put the rest back in the packaging, get the air out, and seal it up tightly. Now this is what a sugar sheet looks like. It's nice and flexible. And I'm going to show you how to use the punches. These punches come in a variety of different shapes and sizes and they're all really fun. Now there are three parts to the die. A silicone cover to protect the blade. The bottom part, which fits into the base, just like that, snaps right in. And the top part. Because these are clear and see-through, you can easily take your sugar sheet off of the back and line it up within the punch so that you can, get as much punches, you can get as many punches out of the sheet as possible. Now with even pressure, I'm going to just simply depress this, and you'll hear, hear the click, move it away, and as you can see, I have a perfectly cut triple star. Love this punch, it's really fun, and it's great for a lot of different, different act, um, celebrations and things like that. Now, as you're doing your punches, while you're waiting to decorate your cake, again, you need to keep these away from the air, and a great way to do that is with the gum paste storage board. You just put it in between the plastic flaps and it will protect your decoration. In addition to these kinds of punches, we also have border punches available. And they come in, again, a lot of different sizes. This one's a flower and I've already got my pieces in. Again, even slow pressure, punch. And this one's cool because it gives me a little bit of confetti as well. Now with my sugar sheet, it's very pliable. So I can take this and I can apply it to the top of the cake and while it's pliable I can also meld it to the sides to give it motion. If you set these out to dry they will dry and harden and the best way to attach these to a cake either fondant or buttercream covered is with just a little bit of piping gel. You can apply it directly to the back of the decoration and place it right on. Have fun decorating.